Hello and welcome to the MHS Rewind studio on the campus of Martinsville High School for the 11th episode of Inside Martinsville Football. Today I'm here as always with Coach Duggar and Coach, your team uh, successfully mm -hmm. won 1-0 again in the playoffs where it mm -hmm. matters. How are you feeling? Uh, feeling pretty good. Uh, obviously long road trip uh, yeah. is what we're worried about driving two hours down. Uh, but uh, our goal was to go down there, you know, to get ready to play a football game and go 1-0, and and we did that. So yeah, very happy right. with that. So we'll jump right into that game. We did have to travel to uh, Silver Creek two hours away in Sellersburg. Um, how do you think your offensive defense performed uh, after that road trip? Well, I thought we played really well on both sides of the ball. I thought, you know, our offense was, I, I don't know that we didn't punt again. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we were very, very efficient on offense. I think we scored every single time we had the ball. Um, defensively, uh, I thought we played really well. Um, I thought our kids flew around, made plays. Uh, I know we had another pick six this week from yep. Grady Gardner. Yep. Um, but uh, overall, you know, we they wanted to try and run the ball. We did a good job up front, um, you know, kind of stifling that a little bit. So really proud of our guys. We, we didn't let the two-hour trip impact us. Came out right away, firing all cylinders, and went 1-0. and uh, And now we're, now we're in the sex championship game. Yep. And we will take a look at some of those plays and play the highlights presented by Carl Van Diebender on that Silver Creek game. Again, came out, like I said, firing right away and, you know, get the thing going there with Josh Jones, just get him a catch or two and get him moving and get the offense rolling. Uh, I <clears throat> thought, you know, we kind of came out um, just, just firing all cylinders, really, you know, moving the ball there with Hunter. And then I think we, uh, uh, we punch it in here with Lucas Dewey uh, on the first drive, if I remember right. Uh, but just, just a great start. I think we scored in like two minutes, uh, maybe four or five plays. Um, and then, you know, then you kind of feel pretty good about, okay, we're, we're awake. We're, we're off the bus. Uh, we didn't, we didn't try, you know, we didn't leave our, our game at home. Um, and the defense came out and did their thing, uh, <clears throat> flying around, making tackles, doing what they're supposed to do. You know, I, a lot of guys making plays, a lot of guys in the, in the backfield. There's Landon Potteroff, Noah Sumner, all those guys back there in the backfield uh, making plays. Don Mercer played great up front. Um, and again, you know, we just we were just really clicking on a lot of levels. Uh, I thought uh, Lucas ran really hard. Um, it's good to see him kind of really getting it clicking a little bit with offense, kind of getting his niche and kind of understanding the offense a little bit better, uh, having to take on a bigger role here lately. But um, but again, um, you know, we spread the ball out really well. Draven Sanders had a big game, uh, finished with three touchdowns. There's his first. Uh, just <clears throat> good to see some guys, excuse me, some guys that haven't done, uh, produced as much for us this year, uh, you know, in the past, really stepping up and making plays for us. And you talk about uh, when you take long uh, trips like that, long drive, you say every hour you're down seven points. And so we took a two-hour drive down 14 points and offense scored twice. Defense got a quick stop there in the middle, forced a punt. So it's glad to see that your team came Yeah, yeah, you come out, you balance it out right away. Yeah. You know, it's just, just coming out. It's the thing you always worry about is just handling the travel and, and kind of how it goes. But I thought we came out in, in a lot of different ways. And uh, our RPOs look good, our run game looked good, our pass game looked good. I thought all around we just we were really good on offense. Uh, and like I said, you see, you see all the highlights of defense as well, just in the backfield, causing problems for them up front. Um, you know, just just something we wanted to do, wanted to get after them a little bit, and I thought we did that. And then they give you opportunities like this. Grady Gardner makes a great play, just takes it from the kid, um, and then he goes all the way to the house. So uh, anytime your defense store, scores, that's a big deal. And I think that's a few weeks in a row they've done that. Love to see. The junior Grady Gardner with another pick six, like you mentioned earlier. That's, that's, I think that's his fourth or fifth of the year. He's had a bunch of them. But again, there you go. Noah Sumner in the backfield, uh, just causing havoc up front. Um, you know, we, we just had a lot of guys doing their job. And when, when our defense lines up and does its job, we feel like they're really, really good. There's Levi Reuter getting in the mix. Uh, you know, it's when they try and do too much, they make mistakes. But, uh, you know, when they do their job, they're pretty good. And, you know, these two do their job really well a lot with uh, AJ and Hunter there. Um, another another connection to them. I don't. I, I think Hunter's completely <laughs> rewritten all the record books for receiver yeah. at Martinsville High School. Um, another great play there by Landon Potter, just flying around on the screen pass, getting a good read, flying to the ball, and making a, a good hit on the guy. And we've seen it in practice this week, preparing for uh, our next game. We yeah. see. We know. We talk. Uh, defense has to be communicating. Yeah, that's, communicating that's, is huge for defense because when they communicate, their gaps out and they do the job. Yeah, that's and that, that's kind of the, the thing for them. You know, when they're lined up right and they communicate, I feel like they're they're really talented defense. Um, when they when they get kind of lazy or they they're not paying attention to details, that's when they, they tend to make mistakes. So uh, here's a good play here by AJ extending the play, finding Draven for his third touchdown of the game. Um, just you know, again overall. 
Great job by, by our offense, and uh, you know AJ had a big night as well. I don't know; I only had one or two incompletions. Um, just just guys playing really good football, and then uh, then you get you know kind of started bringing in some subs. Uh, we kind of left uh, our first group in with Chase Davis, our backup quarterback. Give Chase some experience with the first group, uh, just you know, just for those reps. Kind of let him have the, the you know, kind of the feel of calling it and going against it. But it's good to get him in there, and then it's it's also good to give Lucas some touches again to kind of get him some some groove going with the offensive line, so those that, that group can gel a little bit. Whether it's run you know running game or pass pro, uh, just getting everybody on the same page with that. So. And then, again, the defense just flying around. You see four or five guys there gang tackling, so that's, that's always a big deal. And that's um, even with the second string. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then uh, was Christian Coots came in, ran hard, uh, kind of getting some time as well. When we, when we brought in the full second group, um, you know, they, they, they did what they're supposed to. They moved the ball, uh, marched down. I think we were able to, to bleed the clock out, you know, because it's a running clock in the second half. Um, so when that happens, it's, it's always a good thing. Get some freshmen in there, uh, some guys that, you know, normally don't, don't get on the field on Friday night, but opportunity to get in and be a part of a win on the road in a sectional game. So it's a pretty cool experience for them. All right, so we'll put that Silver Creek game away in the books. Your team's 10-1. and one. Uh, The sectional championship comes from Arnsville yes. at Satterwitz Field, and we uh, are going to host Greenwood. Uh, Greenwood's a 4-7 and seven team. Um, we played them three weeks or in uh, week three mm -hmm. of our regular season, and we took the victory 50-31. Uh, to 31. Yep. And uh, they've had some uh, – recently have some starters come back who yep. are out during the regular season. They came back, and they're looking strong. So what do you see in this Greenwood yeah. team that maybe you didn't see week three? Well, I think, uh, I think week three they were a solid football team. I mean, if you think about it, at halftime they were only down two points at halftime uh, in our defense. Defense made some adjustments and did started making some plays here and there. Uh, they've got some really talented players. Their record does not reflect what they are. Um, you know, they've had injuries all year. They fought the injury bug. Um, you know, the running back's been out, quarterback's been out, one of their top receivers, linemen. They, they, they've been down guys, and they play a lot of those guys both ways. So uh, they've started to get healthy. they got guys back. Last week they were full strength, so we're expecting them to be full strength again. Um, so we're going to have to play good football. I mean, it's a solid, a solid football team. Uh, Coach Bozier does a good job. He's always going to have a great game plan uh, to attack us and we're going to have to really line up do our job on defense and, and play solid defense um, and offense is going to have to take care of the football and we're going to have to play our brand of football right. um, you know we've we've, we've been in the sectional championship game four times uh, we've been knocking at the door but we haven't gone through the door yet so this is kind of the 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 the, the, the motto for the week or whatever if you want is just you know we got to get it done. We mm -hmm. we we gotta we gotta take care of business and get that first sectional championship uh, here since I've been here, but since 1996 as well. Mm -hmm. So, what are the uh, plans offensive, defensively, and the keys to the game uh, for that game? So, uh, off offensively, it's do what we do: take care of the football, take what's given to us, and make you know big plays when we can. Uh, if we do those things, I feel like our, our offense is pretty hard to stop. Defensively, it's 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 be gap sound, fly around, gang tackle. Uh, Thirteen is is one of the better running backs in our conference and in our sectional. We're going to have to get him on the ground. If we can slow him down, uh, that really changes a lot of things. But um, I expect a really good crowd. I expect a great crowd. I expect a good football game. Um, and hopefully, instead of knocking that door, we can bust through that door and get a sectional championship. Yep, that's right. And last question before I let you go here. Uh, you just mentioned it. The sectional championship has not been won at Martinsville since 1996, yeah. and that's 28 years. So what would a victory Friday night mean to you, mean to the team, and mean to the community? Really? I, I, I think a lot. I mean, our, our kids are excited because, you know, this is their moment. This is what they've worked for. Uh, this is one of our goals at the beginning of the year, uh, win a sectional championship. And uh, it, for you guys, that, that would be awesome. Uh, for myself and our coaching staff, this is the same thing. What's what we work for. This is what we wanted. So, we, you know, when we got here five years ago, what we wanted to establish. Um, so we're excited for the opportunity, but I think this community deserves it. Um, our crowds are great every Friday night. Our crowd, I mean, whether we're on the road or not, we had more, we had more fans at Silver Creek than Silver Creek did two hours away. Um, so our, our, our fans are awesome. Um, I'm excited for the opportunity. I hope our kids take advantage of it, um, and I hope we get a party like it's 1996. That's right. Thank you, Coach. That's going to do it here in the MHS 3 one studio on the campus of Martinsville High School for the 11th episode of Inside Martinsville Football. I'd like to thank Coach Duggar for coming out and answering some of these questions. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Maddox Dilley.